वेलकम बैक टू द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ आयुष पॉडकास्ट आयुषवाणी टुडे ऑन बोर्ड वी हैव डॉक्टर सुधा अश्विन रिसर्च ऑफिसर फ्रॉम सेंट्रल काउंसिल ऑफ रिसर्च इन आयुर्वेदिक साइंसेज डॉक्टर वी वेलकम यू टू द शो सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स लर्न मोर अबाउट आयुर्वेदा फॉर मिलेनियल्स कैन यू टेल एस अ लिटिल अबाउट वाई आयुर्वेदा इज इम्पॉर्टेंट स्पेशली फॉर मिलेनियल्स ग्लोबली मिलेनियल्स अकाउंट फॉर रफली ट्वेंटी थ्री परसेंटेज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन In India, millennials are about 34 percentage of the country's total population. A generation raised on computer, their highly pressured lifestyle, food habits, stress, irregular sleep cycles, less physical activity, and more brain exertion invariably affect the balance of hormones, enzymes, and gut microbiota, leading to altered immune response, metabolic disorders, early aging, and degeneration. Studies found that 44 percentage of older millennials have reported being diagnosed with at least one chronic health condition. 60% of condition impacting millennials include some component of mental health and millennial women are 20% less healthy than their male counterparts affected with major depression type 2 diabetes or endocrine conditions what suggestions would you give the millennials to improve their highly stressed lifestyle the first step of solution is to make a shift of focus from the tech savvy living the moment life to a more proactive approach to one's health and wellness needs How do you think use of Ayurveda can help millennials live a healthy lifestyle? Ayurveda has a lot to offer through its diet, lifestyle and behavioral modifications. One of the basic core and significant healthy lifestyle practices advised by Ayurveda is Dinacharya, which is a set of routines to be followed in a day. As per the classics, the day of an individual should typically start in the Brahma Muhurta about 96 to 45 minutes before sunrise. It is a time of alpha brain waves enabling the concurrence of mind and body and waking up at brahma muhurta help in a spiritual cleansing increase of sattva guna boosting your will power to do, do the best and thus increase longevity physical exercise is a daily active pursuit for some millennials the point to be noted here is ayurveda advocates exercise affordable only till half of the strength of a person which can be detected by panting or heavy breathing through mouth and appearance of sweat on nip, tip of nose and exercise should be followed by a body massage Ambhinga or oil massage if done regularly takes care of the aggravated vata, combats the effects of aging and stress, improves blood circulation and sleep. It is to be done on body, head, ears and soles. Udvarta or powder massage of the body alleviates accumulation of kapha and excess fat as well as help in toning and condition of the skin depending upon the herbs chosen. What dietary guidelines needs to be followed as per Ayurveda? Ayurveda stresses on the need to follow fundamental dietary guidelines in terms of right food, right combinations, cooking methods, food storage, culinary environment, hygiene and etiquette. Health sustaining and enhancing regime is a hallmark of Ayurvedic therapeutics and individualized right and lifestyle practices are always prescribed along with the medicaments and therapies to facilitate restoration of homeostatic biomechanisms or dhatu samhita and well-being. Sleep and proper hygiene is the most important aspect of living a healthy life. So, what are your views on the same considering the lifestyle followed by the millennials? Millennials usually lack a proper sleep hygiene which affects the circadian rhythm and bring in diverse conditions of metabolic and neuroendocrine origin. Proper sleep brings about nourishment, strength, longevity, provide relaxation, repair the damages and restore the functions of tired body and mind. Seasonal regimens help a person to get acclimatized with the change in the environment that is best and timely panchakarma or bio purification therapy help in the detoxification and rejuvenation of the body and keeps life disorders at bay. Ayurveda promotes mental health by utilizing the principles Sadvartha and Ajar Rasayana which are about the positive codes and conducts and morals and values which when followed transform the person's belief system, cognitive framework and perceptive ability, strengthen his state of positive mental health or sattva and immunity, fights action through psycho-neuro-endocrino-immunology axis. Further, reproductive health is also affected in the millennials like polycystic ovarian syndrome, menstrual irregularities, extra in women and decreased libido, premature ejaculation and sperm problems in men affecting fertility. Different health issues can be addressed promptly using Ayurvedic treatment principles providing the remedial measures and prescribing various treatment methods central to which are panchakarma and rasayana therapies so as to bring body to equilibrium and harmony again rasayana is a formulation with a therapeutic effect to revitalize as well as to optimize the well-being potential of an individual 
with immune modulatory antioxidant anti stress anti inflammatory and anti microbial properties they are capable of endowing excellence of tissues reducing resistance against diseases both physically and mentally eventually delaying the process of regeneration and aging thus ayurveda not only serve the benefits of curative and preventive aspects of medicinal system but also the unique aspects of maintaining and promoting qualitative standards of life Adopting this traditional medical system can actualize a complete state of physical, mental, social and spiritual well-being, adding life to years, aiming to achieve health for all. Right. Thank you so much doctor for your time. We hope our audiences learned something from this discussion today. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you guys soon in the next episode of Ayushwani.